Welcome to our project today. My name is Melody Irish and I work for the Twin Falls Public Library and I'm here to walk you through how to make a glittered snowflake to either hang from your tree or hang from your window or whatever you want to do but it's a great and fun craft for the holidays and also for winter. If you've come by the library and picked up your kit it's gonna look like this so in the kit we have two paper plates, two toilet paper rolls. And I know after you're done with this craft, you're going to go collect all the toilet paper rolls in your house and make a million of these. And then a little thing of glitter. Inside the glitter, you're going to find some bling pieces. So make sure that you go through and you pull those out prior to uh, dipping your snowflake into the glitter. And I'll show you uh, as we get further into the project how we're going to put those onto our snowflake. Because of, as you can see, we've got glitter point or uh, gem points on this, which is just a little something extra that I thought would be fun to add and make it a little more interesting. Always want these points of interest in our craft projects. So these are the things that you're going to have. Like I said, you're going to have two paper plates. You're going to have a little container of glitter that has two gemstones in it, or has gemstones in it, so be sure you pull them out. If you do not have access to a hot glue gun, that is okay, because all you really need for this project is Elmer's. This right here was made 100% with Elmer's glue. So if you don't have a glue gun, it's not a problem. I will be using a glue gun as we assemble because it's so much faster. If you don't, you're going to have four paper clips inside your kit and I will show you how to use these if you only have Elmer's or any craft glue. You can use um, tacky glue. As long as it's a white glue, you're good to go. Some other things that you might need from home, a pencil, a ruler, scissors, and then obviously glue. So make sure that you have those on hand before you start your project. Oh, and also in the kit is a little uh, silver cord to hang your snowflake with. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first step to um, starting the project is going to be to take your toilet paper rolls and you're gonna wanna fold them, and I just fold straight because you wanna get a good crease. And I will warn you, Sometimes in the center and as we go along and especially after I cut them you might see some pieces start to uncurl But you can just glue those again um, With either your hot glue or your owner's glue So we're gonna fold both of these and you can use any toilet paper rolls that you have if you have white ones I mean, it's a snowflake. So if you have those on hand after we're done with this you can do them with white but um, I will show you that with the brown ones, there's something fun that you can do towards the, at the end of the project that will help it be a little more sparkly. The next step we're going to do after we've got these folded is you're going to take your ruler and what you want to do is we need to get eight pieces out of each toilet paper roll because to make our snowflake, we need a total of 16 pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark on the toilet paper roll a half an inch. So I'm going to put half inch dashes all the way across this toilet paper roll. All right, and so in this case we've got nine. So that's, that's actually nice because then that means we have a couple of extra. So we're going to do that with the second one. So the next thing that we're going to do is once we've got our little, our little hash marks is we're going to take a nice long pair of scissors. Make sure your scissors are sharp because we want these lines to be as straight as possible so that when we assemble our snowflake, it sits flush. Um, mine's not perfect, as you can see. I've got some that come out, but as long as the side that we're dipping into the glitter is flat, then that will really uh, help get glitter on all of the parts. All right, so now we're just gonna cut. All right, so now we've got our we've got 18 pieces because each toilet paper roll had a total of nine. So now we're going to start to assemble our pattern. And the easiest way to do this is going to be to do the middle section first, 
which takes eight pieces. So to build the flower out of the middle, we're going to put our pieces like so. So when you're choosing your pieces, you can put your hand on it just to kind of make sure that you've got all flat pieces. And now the next part we're going to do is we're going to put the inside pieces. Now I, I'll tell you, as I was making a bunch of samples of these, trying to figure out which way was going to work best, I really liked putting something inside the base because I don't, I don't have them with me, but what will happen is they'll start to get squished. Um, as you put more and more things on the outside and you, then you lose that kind of symmetrical shape that we're going for. So you're going to take four of your little strips and we're going to just fold them in half. Not that one. Just fold them in half so that you have the two points together and so then it's going to look but it's going to look like this. And then what we're going to do is they're going to nestle inside each one of our middle flowers. And what that does is that keeps that bigger petal from collapsing under the weight and the, the moisture of the glue. And that happens whether you use um, Elmer's glue or craft glue or you use hot glue. I had the problem both ways. So get our little middle set up here. So just fold them, make sure that that crease is nice and tight, but then I always like to kind of push them out just a little bit. There you go. Okay, and once we've built out the middle of the middle section of our snowflake, we're gonna go ahead and glue. Now I'll tell you that if you're using the craft glue, this is going to take a couple of sittings um, once we move on to the next part because it really has to have time to dry. If, if it doesn't dry, it starts to come apart. I'm sure you can imagine what that's like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put dab of glue, dab of glue, and put it in the middle. And it does seem funny, like why would I build it out before I start gluing but most of that is for a visual and also to make sure that if you have little pieces coming apart that you can kind of catch those um, you know and tack them down while you're going through this process and also to make sure that the pieces that you're picking are as even as possible because it, it really will make a difference in the overall project so as you can see with the hot glue this goes pretty fast course it's very stringy depending on what kind of glue you're using see so here's an example of my flower is a little bit off so I'm going to push it forward because this is going to be the top side so you've got a spot where it's less we're going to make sure that the part that we dip into the uh, glitter is is flush and you don't need tons of this hot glue um, to hold these pieces in because they're just basically supports for um, for the middle section. So just enough to hold them in place. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces here are glued. And now we're going to move on to assembling the middle portion. The middle is actually kind of the hardest part to put together and it's because it likes to wiggle. So whether you're using hot glue or you're using um, Elmer's craft glue, you're going to have middle issues. <clears throat> All right, so we've got our middle flushed out and it is a little uneven, so I'm going to flip it over to try to get that one piece that's a little tall out of the way. But you can see already it came off so the center is not quite even so I'm going to try to push it in so that it's set proper. Okay, so there's the middle of our flower. Now, this is really important if you're using the white glue. You have to clip it in order, or you can sit here and hold it for eight hours while it dries, it's totally up to you. But I tried this with my snowflake and it worked fabulously. So 
There's four sections where the flower meet. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the paper clip and you're going to just clip those sections together. Stick a little bit. Um, you're going to clip those sections together. Push it all the way through so that the paper clip comes out the other side. And this just basically is exactly what it sounds like. It's just going to hold this together and it might wiggle a little bit, but if you're using the Elmer's glue, this gives you another opportunity to set those pieces and make sure that your center is nice and tight. It sounds meticulous, um, but it's really important. I mean, it, anytime you're crafting, you want to have your the, be the best effect possible. I mean, we're sitting here and we're taking time to do this. So these are just little tips to help, you know, you create the best, uh, the best version that you can. I also actually kind of like this because now you have something to hold, hold it <laughs> while you're putting together the other pieces. But this, um, not necessary if you're using hot glue, just if you're using the, El the Elmer's or another kind of craft glue that takes a long time. But as you can see, there's no way that's going to come apart now and then you can walk away from it while you're waiting for it to dry. And if you're using the Elmer's, I would really give it an overnight. I mean, it sounds like, oh, why do I keep coming back to it? Um, and it's because you just don't want it to come apart. And as you add more pieces to it, the base does need to be secure. Once you have the base hot glued, you can take additional Elmer's and like rub it in there and let it sink through. And then that way it just has a little more to hold to. But I would glue it first so you're sure that you've got it in between the pieces. Right, so we're going to pull these off. All right, so we've got our first sets of the flowers nice and tight. And actually, you could even stop there or you can get toilet paper rolls and make this. I mean, it's just a really nice little piece. Um, and if you want to get super crazy, go on Pinterest because you wouldn't believe what people have done with a toilet paper roll. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're going to move on to building the outer part of our snowflake. So what we need to do with the eight remaining pieces is fold them in half because we've got four here that are going to go inside the flower and then we've got four that are going to be on the outside uh, just to give it a little more interest and to, you know make it a little bit bigger. Fold our pieces, pump the bunny ears, and set them in so that we can see what our pattern is looking like as we're building it out. Okay, see how this one is super small. It doesn't even come close. So we're not going to use that. Okay, so we've got the rest of our bunny ears together. Okay, so now we've got our full pattern laid out. So as you can see, it's pretty similar to the pattern that we've got here on, on our sample piece. So we're just gonna go ahead and glue. Uh, now, for those of you that are using the white glue, this, will, this would happen, I, I mean, maybe four hours. I mean, it just, you know, it just depends. Just make sure that it's dried all the way through. So we're going to build from the center out just like we did when we were making the middle. So we're going to just take our pieces and we're just going to start gluing. Now for, for this first one that I put in, you want to put your glue kind of on the sides rather than in the middle because the middle is actually not going to attach to anything. As you can see here, there is separation. We're going to put that there, but we do want to push it in just a little bit so that it really nestles in. And even with the hot glue, you may need to hold this for just a second and then kind of help it come together. And this is what I meant by collapsing. So some of these designs have these pushed really far in there and what it does once you go all the way around is it puts pressure on these and they just kind of fold in on themselves. I don't know how they're making them without that happening. Okay. We've got 
got our middle built out. So now the full part is done in the middle. So as you can see, it just it's just growing. And you know, with every every time you add a piece, it's just gonna add a little more interest to your project. Now this part, putting the the butterflies, the bunny ears on the outside is a little bit challenging. Um, as you can see with mine, some of them didn't go quite right. Like this one's a little wonky at the bottom, but no snowflake is perfect. They are all flawed. So however yours comes out, it's going to be perfect to you. So don't worry too much about that. But in this case, we are going to glue right on the, the fold so that we're tip to tip which is a little easier. This part is especially easier if you're using hot glue. You just want to hold it for a couple of seconds until it grabs all the way. Alright, so we're going to let that set, but we are fully built on our snowflake now. And we're going to, while this is setting, going to prep the plates for the dipping. Now we're back and we're ready to dip, but as you can see, like even with the hot glue, I have a couple bunny ears that are a little bit off. So, don't worry about it. Just just run just run with it because it just makes it it makes it yours. If this happens and you don't really like that, you can take a little bit of your glue and just kind of tack it down. hold it in place so that you don't have that. That happens on every brand of toilet paper roll because I have used, I think, every brand of toilet paper roll practicing. Okay, so we have our plate. It's ready. You want to put a bunch of Elmer's glue around it. And now this is what I meant when you want to make sure it's as even as possible because you're going to take your snowflake and you are going to just go crazy and dip every portion of the snowflake into the glue. So it's just gonna look like this and you wanna push on all the little places where they say every nook and cranny. If this happens and it makes a window, you can just pop it. Um, don't necessarily want a window in there. If you have some that come a little bit loose, like I just had this one, one of these just came a little bit loose. You can always dab some glue there. Yeah, this one. To hold it in place. Okay. The nice thing about the Elmer's glue, actually, when you're using it to dip, is it's going to add additional strength to your project. And by the time we're finished, it's going to be pretty sturdy. Like, surprisingly sturdy. I mean, you wouldn't want to, like, run it over with a car, but if you're packing it in with the rest of your Christmas decorations or your winter decor, it should hold up pretty well. Okay, so we are, it looks like we are 100% covered. We've got glue on every spot, maybe a little more just right there. Okay, and then we've got our prepared glitter plate. This is a mix of like white glitter, I think it's diamond dust, and then just regular silver glitter. And same concept, we're just gonna do this dipping. Now, I have seen some instructions that say do it in stages, but I'm going to tell you that that is crazy, and I tried that, and all it did was make a mess, and then you lose most of the glitter off of your project while you're trying to, to adhesive it. So just put the whole thing together and then add your glitter. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I've got a couple of my bunny ears here that don't want to cooperate. So I'm going to take a pencil and just dab at that. So the same pencil that you used to do um, your measurements and cut, you can just use it to glue those spots. And that's why you really want it to try to be as even as possible. I think I failed at that this time. But it is a bit of a challenge. But nothing is not fixable. We can fix it. Okay, so we're gonna just go for those spots. Yep, grab it up and grab it up. So now we've got full glitter coverage on our on our snowflake.
Okay, so now we have the last, um, one of the final parts is the, the little gems that I fished out of there. So you're going to want to do that before you start dipping because you don't want it to land in there by accident. Um, and you can put these on however you want. This is your project. But I will tell you that do not do it with the hot glue. So if you have completed your snowflake with hot glue, I've done this both ways and it actually works a lot better with the Elmer's glue because this is already coated in Elmer's and because it's more liquid it goes it goes into the nooks and crannies of the glitter and it will just hold better. But you will want tweezers. You don't have to have craft tweezers. You can use tweezers um, that you you know just have on hand. But there's three sizes in the the little gems. We've got the biggest one which I will be using for the center and then um, the next size will go in these uh, spots closer. So I'm going to go big, little, littlest as I go out. But like I said, if you look at this and you decide you want to do something different, please do something different and post your pictures on Facebook because we would love to see how these come out. So take your tweezers, dip in the bottom. Now be careful not to get it on the actual um, top side of the gym because it will dull the, the luster a little bit, but we're going to set that in the middle. And we're just going to kind of push it down just a little so that it falls in. It will be wiggly, but that's okay. Like I said, once it actually adheres, then you're good to go. So we're just going to just work our way around. The other thing that this avoids is getting those horrid strings everywhere that we all love hot glue, but we do not always love those strings. All right, so first and second round completed, and then I'll be using the little ones to go on the outside. These don't, when you're first looking at them, they probably don't look like much, but when you get this in the light, they're going to be really reflective. So, you know, that's why I was thinking like, in the window would be a great place to hang them or, you know, on your tree where you've got your Christmas lights um, blinking. They will be very pretty. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces on and now you can see our, our snowflake is 100% uh, ready to dry let it dry and let it dry overnight <laughs> whether you use white glue or you use hot glue because this glitter is going to get everywhere i will show you how you can prevent it from happening so once you're done with this part let it set till it crusts nice and hard and then something that you can do, um, there's a couple of different options depending on what you have on hand, but the easiest one for our purposes is just to take a little bit of Elmer's glue, put it in your cup, and you can even add some of the glitter that you have left over into the cup, and then water it down. You're going to brush it on. Try not to go over your gems because if if you get the glue on the gems, it will affect the luster. Like if you look really closely at these two, you can see that this one was glued over and this one was not. And so those, the little gems on there just pop a little bit better. I mean, it's not really a big deal. It's just one of those little things. Um, so just brush and then <laughs> like, I don't know if you can see, but in here, I just went ahead and brushed some of the glitter as I was going and it just coats this just makes it a little more sturdy and then it puts glitter throughout the whole snowflake so just gives it a little more bling which when we're using glitter let's all face it we want the bling once you're completely done you're gonna take your your silver cord and you're gonna thread it through whichever bunny ears you think you want and tie a knot and hang it but that's but that's what we're going for right there you know there there's a lot of easy designs that you can make with this it's a lot it's just a lot of fun um if you're using the elmer's glue you can just do up a whole bunch and then dip them all at the same time um that we're not waiting as long between drying coats and that i would say that that's probably the only drawback to the craft is that you really have to 
have it dry um, in order to keep it looking good because one thing that will happen is this is coated in glitter right now but if we try to handle it it's like I said it's gonna all slough off there you go post your pictures on Facebook we would love to see what you guys come with, up with and um, how they turn out Merry Christmas happy holidays happy new year all of the things thanks